Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll go through step 26 of the walkthrough series and we'll discuss about mock server configuration. So in the last step, uh, what we did is that we connected a remote OData service to our SAP UI5 application. We basically connected to the publicly available Northwind OData service and we were able to fetch data from that remote service and display in the SAP UI5 application screen. Now in this step, we will introduce mock server configuration. What this mock server configuration will do is that it will mimic the behavior of a real OData service, but in reality, the data will be served by this mock server using local files in our SAP UI5 application project. We will be simulating a backend system in our SAP UI5, and we will make use of mock server to do that. Mock server enables us to simulate the behavior of an actual backend system and the data is served from the local files from within our application project structure. So let us see what we need to do to configure mock server in our UI5 application. Here you can see that this is the project structure of our application and uh, we will introduce two new folders now, one called as local service this folder will contain a folder for mock data and it will contain two files, one for metadata.xml and another one for mock server.js. We'll have one more folder called the test folder. And in this folder, we'll have this file called mock server.html. So if we have to run our application in the mock server mode, we will run the mock server.html file rather than running the index.html file which will basically trigger a call to the real backend OData service. Important thing to note here is that all the test related artifacts of our project, we will place them inside this test folder so that we can easily differentiate between the productive files of our application and the test related files of our application. Coming to the application project in Visual Studio Code, First of all, we'll create this test folder and the first file which we'll create it should be the mock server.html file. To create this mock server.html file, we can directly copy the contents of the index.html file, which is here. So we'll copy the contents of the index.html file and we will create mock server.html file. Now, once we have directly taken the content of the index.html file into our mock server.html file. We'll make some changes to this file. First of all, you can see that the data SAP UI resource roots property. This will change a little bit because now the resources of our application are available in the web app folder, which is basically one level up from our test folder. So our mock server.html file resides inside the test folder. And to tell the mock server.html file that the resources are available inside the web app folder, we will make a slight change here. So you can see that in the index.html file, we have the value here as a dot forward slash, but in the mock server.html file, we have the value for resources as dot dot and forward slash. So this means that the resources are located in a folder, which is one level up from the test folder. So this is one change which we have to do. Another change which we have to do is in the index.html file, we were initializing the component support here inside the data SAP UI on init attribute. We were directly initializing the component support, but now because we will be making use of mock server, uh, here in the on init attribute, we are initializing the mock server by calling this particular module. So these are the two changes which we have to do when we are creating mock server.html file. So you can see that in the on init attribute, we are calling the module init mock server, which should be available inside the test folder of our application project. So inside the test folder, we have this new file here called init mock server.js. And this is the module 
which will be initialized from our mock server dot html file the content of init mock server dot js file are here so this is a js module which we have created here first of all we will load the dependency of mock server which will be provided from the local service folder which is a new folder in our application so we will see what are the contents of this mock server dot js file but here we are loading that mock server dot js file as a dependency in our init mock server dot js module so once this dependency is loaded we are calling the mock server dot init method this is a method inside the mock server dot js file this mock server dot js file resides inside the local service folder so once we have initialized the mock server after that we are initializing the component support for our ui5 application so this is the difference between how the component is getting initialized in case of mock server configuration when compared to when we run the application with real odata service as the backend so when we run the application with the real odata service as backend we make use of the index.html file and here we directly initialize the component but in case of mock server we first initialize the mock server and after that we initialize the component support for our application what this will ensure is that whatever odata service calls are triggered from our application they are caught by the mock server and they are not routed to the real backend odata service rather they are served from the mock server configuration itself so you can say that the component itself will not know whether it is being run in mock server mode or in real backend mode that is already getting taken care before the component initialization when we are initializing the mock server which ensures that any odata service call which gets triggered from the application it is getting served from the mock server and not from the real odata service now the mock data which will be used by our application when we are running in the mock server mode that mock data is placed inside this mock data folder which is inside the local service folder and this is the same invoices.json file which we already had in our application in the earlier steps the only difference between this mock data invoices.json file and the file we were using earlier is that we don't need this invoices array name anymore we will directly provide the details of all the invoices inside this flat structure now one more file inside our local service we need is the metadata.xml file so this file will contain the metadata of our backend odata service and the mock server will will make use of this metadata.xml file when we are running the application in the test mode to get the contents of this metadata.xml file we can just directly get the metadata of the real odata service once and uh, we can directly copy paste the metadata of the real odata service inside this file to get the metadata of the northwin odata service we can just directly run this url so this is the northwin odata service url we just need to append this url with dollar metadata and uh, we can easily retrieve the metadata of the odata service so in our case we don't need the entire metadata of the northwin odata service because it's pretty huge we have only made use of the entities which are required for our application and uh, we have pasted the required metadata inside this xml file so the mock server will read this metadata.xml file uh, to simulate a real backend odata service call now coming to the mock server.js module so this mock server.js file it is again it is located inside local service and uh, this is the module which we are loading as a dependency inside our init mock server.js file so you see this dependency here which we are loading local service mock server 
this is the mock server.js file which we are making use of. In this mock server.js file, we first of all load the dependency of the mock server module from SAP UI5. And here we have a default init function inside our mock server.js file. So you can see that uh, in our init mock server.js file, we are calling mock server.init method. This will basically call this init method of our mock server.js file. So here, first of all, we are creating a new mock server by creating a new instance of the standard mock server module from SAP UI5. So we make use of this statement. Here in the root URI, we have to provide the URL of the real backend OData service. Please make note that this URL should, should be exactly same as what we have mentioned in our manifest.json file. So whether you specify a relative URL here or you specify a fully qualified URL here, the same URL you have to mention in our mock server.js file when we are creating the mock server. So this will be the root URI of our mock server. After this, we need to configure the mock server with a little bit of a delay. So we have two global parameters which we are setting here for our mock server. Uh, one is auto respond so that our mock server responds automatically whenever a backend OData call is triggered. And another parameter is auto respond after. What this will do is that this parameter will ensure that the response which is received from the mock server, that response is received after some delay so that uh, the application can experience as if the response is coming from a real backend OData service. So that is why we introduce some delay of around one second in the response coming from our mock server. So that is what we are doing here. Then here we are just providing the details to simulate the OData service call from the mock server. In order to simulate, we have to provide the path of the metadata file and also the path of our mock data. So these are the two details which are needed by the mock server to simulate any backend uh, OData call which will be triggered from our UI5 application. So once we have done all these configurations, uh, we'll just call this omockserver.start method and this will start our mock server for our application. All of this will be executed from the init mock server.js module when we call mock server.init method. So once the mock server has been initialized, any call to the real backend OData service, in which in our case is the Northwind OData service, any such call will be handled by the mock server. And once that has been established, after that, we are initializing our component. Now we will run our application using the UI5 serve command. And we will go to HTTP localhost 8080. So we see here that uh, we have the test folder available here and we can run the mock server.html file. So once we run the mock server.html file, we can see that uh, the title of the application also has SAP UI5 walkthrough hyphen test page as a description, which means that the application is running via the mock server. And also the data which you see here, this is the mock data which we have in the invoices.json file. And this mock data is coming from the local service folder, which has the mock data folder and which has the invoices.json file. This title of uh, the page which we see here, SAP UI5 walkthrough hyphen test page, this title has been introduced here in the mock server.html file. And if we check the title in case of index.html file. So this title is different from what we have in our mock server.html file. Therefore, this application currently is running with mock data. So at this point of time, even if we don't have any connection to the Northwind OData service, our application will still run using the mock server. And if we go back and if we run the index.html file, we can see that this particular data is coming from the actual Northwind OData service. And 
the title of the application is also SAP UFI walkthrough and the data is also different, which is coming from the actual OData service. So at this point of time, we have the flexibility to run our application either with the real OData service in the actual mode or in the test mode using only the mock server. So that is what I wanted to cover in this video for step 26. This is uh, how the mock server configuration works. And we have seen how the application can be run using mock data, which is being served from the mock server. In the next video, we'll go through step 27 and understand about unit test with QUnit. Till then, thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.